three three-minute rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting on the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please welcome Steve Lonte. Dropping down to the 125-pound division, Mr. Steve Lontine making his way to the cage now here at Sparta 79. Love the 125-pound division. Stamina for days, speed, technique, skill. Always a really, really fun weight division to watch, Drew. I can't stand going with the smaller guys. They don't ever get tired, <laughs> and they, they pull technique just from every position. A family affair boxing represented by Mr. Lawn Team. And his opponent, fighting out Larry H. Miller, Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat of Denver Blue Corner, please welcome TJ Solace. TJ Solace on his way to the cage now. Take a look here at the tail of the tape. 26 years old, Mr. Montine. 5'6", he will have the one inch height advantage and a one in five record. This is his style as freestyle for a long time. TJ Salas, 24 years old, standing five foot five, weighing in 125 pounds, with a record of two and one. His style is freestyle. A couple of guys just in there freestyling it. <laughs> <laughs> Victory MMA represented by Mr. Salas. Jamal Smith, a busy man this evening for the Victory MMA team. Ladies and gentlemen, this MMA bout is brought to you by Cowboy Dodge. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Denver, Colorado, representing a family affair boxing. Steve And his opponent, fighting out of Larry H. Miller, Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat of Denver Blue Corner from the Northern Mariana Islands, representing Victory MMA, TJ Salas. Lontine in the black and blue, Salas in the black and red. A family affair boxing versus Victory MMA for Lontine versus Salas here at Sparta 79. Referee Tim Johnson ready to keep the action under control in the cage, make sure everybody plays by the rules. Both guys with really good footwork. Yeah, to find I was their just range. gonna say, look really smooth. First thing that I noticed about both of them. Salas with a feint with his footwork. Lawn team throws the first strike of the fight. Yeah. 
guy's just so fast. And like you said, cardio for days. The leg kick back from Salas. Cornerman calling for the question mark kick. And that's kind of a kick that starts low and disguised as it comes up high and loops over the opponent of your shoulder. Follows the path of a question mark. Oh, oh nice counter right hand by Lontina. Solis tried to close the distance. Good read on his opponent by Lontina. Yes, he's, he's catching him with that right hand as he's uh, blitzing in. Yeah, he sees an opening there. Solis needs to start uh, finding an angle first. Good vision by Lawn Team. Good leg kick by Salas. Great one two by Lawn Team. Cornerman still calling for that question mark kick. Must Excited be something. To see that, it. Yeah, must be something they worked on in the gym saying, hey, let's get that going. He's got a great leg kick. And that's a good way to set it up. Throw a couple leg kicks in there, get your opponent thinking that's where it's going, and then bring it up high. Solis has tried to close the distance a couple of times, been met with stiff overhand rights by Lawntine, and it has really shut down his attack quite a bit. Head throw by Lawntine, and up in half guard. He needs to start getting that uh, underhook back, though. Looking to pass immediately to side control was Lawntine. Good with leg that, work by Salas. With that hand position, Salas can uh, take the back from here. Lawntine's got to really make yeah, sure that he if, stays on top here. If Salas pops that head out, he's behind the back of Lawntine. You're absolutely right, Drew. And there it is. There you it called is. it, sir. Lawntine trying Salas to guard the neck, but Salas out. gets underneath. Nicely done. That's under the chin. And that's that very tight. tight. He's got a good squeeze here, arching the back, driving the head. Oh, forward. the end of the round. On the round. I wasn't the even belt. watching the timer, my goodness. That was close. Lawntine did a great job to strike the department, maintain that rage, and very quick response to right hand. But Salas on that ground, look so close to that finish. Yeah, you uh, you really called it with that back take there. That's one of the difficulties of the head and arm choke is if you hold that position, or head and arm throw rather, if you hold that position on the ground, it's a short trip to back control for your opponent. Salas able to do exactly that. Now with the way that ended, do you think Salas is going to come out looking for this takedown? Bring it back to the ground department looking for that finish. I would not be surprised to see that. I think that would be a wise move. I think Lontine has a good read on his stand-up. And uh, we've seen the Salas can be slick on the ground. So. Both fighters take the center. Launching right back to initiating the jab and that range. Beautiful leg kick. Nice power on that leg. Oh, yeah. that was a slip. So that was put Launching not able to pop back up real quick. Maybe he got injured just a little bit on that slip there, but immediately looking to try to wrap up rubber guard. He needs to get that uh, left leg involved. I was but just going to say, a good job of it up. yeah, Lontine's left leg not in play here. Otherwise, it'd be danger of a triangle. <laughs> that fence is really stopping Solace from passing over to the other side. He needs to change directions. But he's doing a good job of keeping that leg trapped so that it's no longer a, a tool. He's just fighting to basic top half guard right now. Good job passing his arm through by Salas. Eating a couple of shots from Lontine off the bottom. Lontine not doing anything to try to scramble back to his feet here. Masala's not doing a whole lot to improve the, the position. He's kind of settling right now. Exactly. The referee looks for you to either improve your position, inflict damaging strikes, or threaten with a submission. If we don't see any of that out of either of the two fighters, that's what will bring a stand up. 
corner. Lontine calling for him to bring that left leg through. And there is almost a pass. He's got to get past that knee. Salas passed the side control. Let's see what he can do with it. Long team hooking up that Kimura. Now this is a tough submission to, to finish in this half guard. But you can definitely use it as a sweep. He definitely use it as a sweep, although he doesn't quite have his leg in the right position for the sweep to have a great deal of effectiveness. And Salas, Salas starting to put together some strikes now. Looking well, to wrap up a head and arm choke for Salas. And let's see if he can skip over to the side. Oh, this is tight. This Very is tight. Very tight. Let's see if he gets down, flattens himself out a little bit here. Hard uh, squeeze coming from Salas. Trouble. There's, there's the, the tap. tap. Congratulations to the victory MMA fighter. Mr. Salas is going to go home with the victory. And Lontine, I'm not sure if he thinks he held the choke for a moment too long or what. Little uh, discord between the two there, but Salas is going to go home with the victory. Finish the second round the way he was trying to finish that first round. <laughs> yes, indeed. Snatching up the neck of your opponent. And here he is working his way to full mount, solidifying the position. Yes, he had it Looking underneath the chin hard, there. Skips off to the side. Just gets the really solid squeeze. Typically, you'll see a fighter drop his hips down. There we go. That's Solace did that. Just gets the really hard squeeze here. And basically, Lonte. just a matter of time. There's the tap. And Lonte did it, you know, the defense of answering the phone, but... That was underneath the chin, and it was just so tight that it, it just wasn't enough. Yep, Salas just had enough of a squeeze and a technical enough position to be able to finish it out. We'll take it up to Big Mo for the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tom Johnson calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 22 seconds of the second round. Declaring a winner by submission by a head and arm triangle, TJ Salas! I'm here now with your winner, TJ Salas. How's it feel to get that win tonight? Oh man, it feels great. Um, I've been, it's been four years since I had my first fight in MMA and coming back, feels really good. That first round, you almost had the submission at the end of the round, kind of saved by the bell. What were your coaches saying between rounds and what was the game plan coming out round two? Uh, round two, they told me that I got to take him down, that uh, I could beat him on the ground and that's what... When did you know you had that submission sunk in? Um, honestly, it was just... It just happened, I don't know, just feeling it, and I went for it. I saw it, it was open, and I got it. There's a little drama after the fight. What's going on there? Um, yeah, I don't know. I just want to apologize to my, to my opponent um, for I was acting up. It was just the heat of the moment, and yeah. Well, congratulations. You got the win tonight. I'm sure there's some people that you want to thank. Yeah, I want to thank my coaches. Uh, first of all, I want to thank God, thank my wife, uh, thank my teammates as well, and yeah. Great job, TJ. We'll see you back soon.